Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And I've decided to review my KO Combiner Wars Jet Blastoff. <laughs> and yeah, I did this figure... Show this figure off when I did my Combiner Wars Bruticus review, but I've never reviewed this figure myself. But yeah, he can slide on the table due to friction. He doesn't do much in jet mode. It's not a bad KO Combiner Wars blast off, I will admit. It's just a retool of the Combiner Wars Air Raid, not Air Raid, Slingshot, and the other one, I forget its name. I haven't watched Transformers Generations in a while. But yeah, this is a good looking jet. I don't think I'm going to use this on my Bruticus ever, but I thought I'd review this figure by itself and it looks pretty good and here it is for comparison with of course prime wars blast off because i had to do a comparison and that's all there is to say for comparison and we're gonna disconnect the gun and we're gonna get down to transformation in a few steps, which is pretty simple. Just like Click Slinger, you disconnect the legs. I don't have him in my collection, but he's on my goal to get the G2 Quick Slinger or the American or the regular Quick Slinger. Gonna disconnect the legs, split the arms right here, and there you got his arms all done accordion down the legs and fold these panels in, fold these in to form his legs. And they click pretty nicely. D connect them in and they click nice and securely. Now we're going to work on the backpack. Disconnect the nose cone from the jet. Fold down the landing gear, fold down the arms, and there we got Blast Off in his robot mode. Looking pretty good looking. For a Jet Blast Off, he looks pretty cool. And give him his Combiner Wars rifle and go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. Well, let's look at that head sculpt. It's not bad looking. He has a mouth and some white eyes, which is pretty cool. Some whitish blue eyes. And this KO Decepticon symbol ain't half bad. But now we're going to get down to comparisons in robot mode with Prime Wars Blast Off. And I'm going to transform him off camera because I got a photographic memory of when I get figures. I'm just that good at memorizing transformations over the years after I mess around with them for so many years. I'm that good at transformations. And yeah, I'm pretty good at that. And here is Prime Wars Blast off next to his Combiner Wars counterpart. And they look good together. But yeah, I probably won't add this guy on my Bruticus because I like Prime Wars Blast Off better on Bruticus. Because Blast Off in the Generation 1 cartoon, Generation 2 cartoon, was a space shuttle. And that's just better on Bruticus than the Jet. But yeah, I've wanted to do that figure for a long time. 
it was fun to finally review this figure by itself after a long time. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I would sure appreciate the subscribers. And pass it along to any other people who watch my channel, because I'm always looking for to build up my subscriber count. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.